Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Now, cloud computing is red hot right now. And with, along with cloud computing, cloud security. Uh, as more and more companies are migrating to the cloud, the concept of cloud security and securing data is becoming very, very important right now, right? And you can just see the what the cloud computing market size is expected to be by 2030. It makes sense as more and more companies are moving towards AI and managed services, and you need to have some sort of cloud infrastructure, right? Either you'll be fully cloud, hybrid cloud, multi-cloud, government cloud. It doesn't matter. One way or the other, you will be using cloud. And usually cloud security, like security professionals, what they do is they start out with like uh, learning certifications, you know, they do the CCSK or the CCSP or some vendor specific like AWS or Azure or Google Cloud, right? And they do this and they use this as a pathway to get into the cloud security market. Now, especially if you're starting out and you want to become a cloud security engineer, the certificate, certificate of cloud security knowledge, that is uh, pretty much everyone's entry point into the market, into the cloud security market, right? And it's an excellent certification without any doubt. I mean, it's I would say for entry professionals, this is the best certification to do the CCSK. I've already made detailed videos about this, but just a quick recap, it's by the Cloud Security Alliance. You need to have good knowledge about three documents, which is their guidance, their cloud control matrix, and there is, there's another risk assessment document. It's very, very beginner friendly. It's not technical or too detailed. It's high level and it's very well respected within the industry. You have to give an online test and it's easy to pass. It's not terribly difficult, but the problem comes is like, it's amazing if you've done, if you have achieved the CCSP, it's a great like achievement. You should be proud of it. I mean, without any doubt, I mean, if you've done it, this is definitely an achievement and this is a way you can get inside the market. The problem happens, which a lot of people have reached out to me and what to do after getting the certificate of cloud security knowledge, the CCSK. So this is what I made this video for, because I want to get some, like give you some advice like uh what what you should do i've seen a lot of people making some mistakes okay after they get ccsk certified either they get confused and they say don't know what to do and they end up making mistakes which can cost them a lot of time a lot of uh, money also which is not not good right so th the whole point of this video is to give you some advice what to do after getting ccsk certified so you don't get confused and you don't waste your time and money if you like this video please do like and subscribe to this channel that will uh, and please do share it with anyone you feel might be of value so a common mistake, a common mistake, which I see a lot of people do. And uh, believe me, you won't believe how many I, I've seen this mistake happen consistently and people regret it later on. What, what people do is once they pass the CCSK, they get, they're on that high, right? They're very, very happy. I've gotten CCSK certified. The immediate thing they do almost, almost every time is they uh, like apply for the CCSP certification. They pay the money and they get ready for passing the CCSP. Now the decision to immediately pursue the CCSP af immediately after getting the CCSK without gathering hands-on experience and other stuff, it has serious drawbacks. And I've seen this, so I, this is not theoretical. I've actually seen people make this mistake and suffer. Why? So while the CCSK gives you like a broad understanding of cloud security, the CCSP is much, much deeper, okay? If you jump straight into it, means you'll have to, uh, without getting practical experience, means that you'll understand concept at a service level, but you don't have that depth right now because you haven't applied it in real world situations, right? And certifications, CCSK is theoretical, right? So it will give you generalized principles without, without hands-on experience. And even from the value to the uh, employers, right? Having a CCSP, CCSP title without the experience, it doesn't look good. I've seen people who have the CCSP, they have like uh, six months of experience. So that looks kind of weird. And they can't even get the CCSP because you need to first get that required experience. It will overload you with theory because getting this much amount of information, right? And the worst part is the financial and time investment because preparing for the CCSP requires money. It requires time. And instead, you should focus on getting projects, getting experience first. So, you know, get a better chance of passing the CCSP while increasing your profile. So this is what I wanted to talk about, guys. The first step is get practical experience. What do I mean by that? Actually apply, take the concepts which you learned in CCSK, which were theoretical, okay? And get like practical experience with cloud security. Easiest way to do is open up an AWS free tier account, just Google free tier, and you'll get a completely free playground sandbox of the cloud to play around with. Uh, I, I work with AWS, so I'm biased. I always recommend AWS, but you can do this the same thing with Microsoft Azure 
and Google. AWS is the biggest cloud provider, so I always recommend it. And I work there also, disclaimer. That's the reason I always end up recommending uh, AWS. But so once you have the free tier, you can set this up. You'll, they'll ask you for a payment. And as long as you, sorry, no, not a payment. They'll ask you for your card details, but they won't take anything. And as long as you stay within the free tier, you can pretty much do a lot of stuff. Believe me, from the security perspective, it's incredible how much stuff you can do. And if you want to learn, I would suggest go to workshops.aws, okay? And they have some amazing security workshops, which you can just like browse through and actually implement this. So now you'll get the free tier, okay? And you get workshops. So you can actually start implementing them, implementing the security baseline workshop, a look at AWS Prowler. I have a lot of videos on that. You can check that also. So please, instead of jumping into getting the next certification, get some practical hands-on experience that will help you out a lot. Okay, the second thing, the second mistake I see people making is not learning infrastructure as good. If you are serious about the cloud, learning ISE is a critical component because most modern cloud environments are built on ISE, which is infrastructure as code and DevOps practices. So a lot of people, what I've done is they, just learn how to scan IAC without understanding how it works. So they know how to run a scanner. They probably buy some like tool from the market and they know how to run it, but they, they have no idea how IAC works. So if I tell them to just spin up a server, a simple server using infrastructure as code, they will not be able to do it. Please, you need to understand why IAC is so important because this is how infrastructure gets deployed in the cloud, okay? Uh, nobody goes to the console in the cloud and deploys infrastructure every time. Everything is done with an IAC, for example, if you define a security group within uh, infrastructure as code, it gives you consistency. You can use it versioning. You can put it in GitHub. You can scan it through automated security checks, right? But first learn how it works. And you know, even in security incidents, it can be a lifesaver because you can quickly remediate it. So, uh, and it allows for easy replication of secure environments. You can integrate it with CICD. It's, it gives you a very holistic security approach. Learn infrastructure as code, okay? You don't need to be an expert. Just go to the Terraform website. They have some excellent tutorials there. Just at least learn how to spin up a simple server, a simple like network, internet gateway. Very, very simple to do. All of those things, once you've done it, destroy it. It won't cost you a penny within the free tier account, okay? Just go to the Terraform website, type in Terraform tutorials. You'll see this Amazon Web Services, Azure, Terraform, Google Cloud. Pretty much every cloud, you have completely free tutorials there. So this is, now I hope I've shown you. So. Uh, uh, this is what I wanted to talk to you about, okay? Getting some practical experience within the free tier and learning infrastructure as code. Very, very critical, guys. Please, I've seen so many people, they have the CCSK, suddenly they think now I'm a cloud security expert. They're not, without knowing these two things, it will seriously cause you problems within your career if you don't have these skills. And the third thing I want you to do is build your profile. Building a strong cloud security profile, it's not about certifications and theoretical knowledge. It's about demonstrating that expertise, okay? And sharing it with the broader community. So engaging in activities like, you know, creating courses, producing YouTube videos, writing on platform, it can really boost your profile. And what am I talking about here? I mean, you can create, if you want, if you're comfortable, start creating YouTube videos about cloud security. This can position you as a uh, expert. You can maybe launch a Udemy course. If you are start speaking on events, if you're not like, a, if you're like me, you're an introvert, you don't like public speaking. There are many, many other ways also. You can go to Medium. Medium is one of the most popular, I like uh, publishing platform. It has billions of followers, okay? And including technology and cloud security. It has uh, like millions of monthly readers and writing on this platform, it can expose your content to a vast audience. And some of them might be senior people in cloud security will hire you. And you can get professional credibility, right? You can, if you don't like Medium, you can write on WordPress, make your own website or easiest uh, just write on LinkedIn. Okay. And you know, many industry experts or professionals, if you, they like your articles, they'll reach out to you and you can even make money through medium, although it's gone down the monetization program, but this is a very, very like a, a thing I've seen people not do, and it really harms their chances. If you don't like writing and all that, another thing is you can go to platforms like uh, Stack Overflow, GitHub. They are very, very popular within the tech community. Okay and actively contributing to these platforms. It can boost your profile. Like it can show your expertise. You can like engage with real world problems. You know, Stack Overflow, you can answer problems and your reputation. I think Stack Overflow has a reputation system. So your answers get upvoted, your, you earn points, badges, right? If you regularly contribute on GitHub and Stack Overflow, like regular contributors will reach out, like people will reach out to you and you might have opportunities open up. 
it will give you and best of all it is give you like real world like uh, experience okay your github profile it serves as like a portfolio and you can include you can put it on your cv you can show scripts tools configurations documentations so many people don't do this and really high quality uh, if you are good in scripting or programming or answering questions uh, like high quality contributions to popular projects will get you recognized in the global community okay so this is again a thing which i don't see people doing and another thing which gets missed out is platforms like upwork so you can actually uh, set yourself up as a cloud security professional and you can like bid on projects uh, like simple simple projects and choose something and you can actually accumulate a portfolio of real world solutions sometimes people come in they'll give you 100 200 dollars just to do a simple cloud security checkup of their environment you can actually apply for that earn a little bit money and you can get that project on your portfolio right i'm not saying you will become a millionaire but cloud security is in high demand and you can get a lot of good competitive rates okay and you can interact with clients that client if you like your work they can become a regular they can even hire you right and it really gives teaches you a lot about discipline and everything and of course you can earn a little bit of money uh, this should not be your first goal because you're just starting out but these are the things uh, guys i wanted to really uh, stress upon don't make that mistake which a lot of people i've seen doing is do this kid then become a certification factory and jump directly into the ccsp follow these tips which i've told you to get some real actual experience and that will help you out a lot more in your career once you've gotten these things yeah then go on to the ccsp cc ccsp okay i hope this was useful to you guys uh, please do like and subscribe to this channel and share this video and i'll see you next time thank you